Street, and this is a cabin tour of room 69668 on the Disney Dream. This is a semi-obstructed balcony, supposedly. It has a white wall balcony. Alright, so all the rooms on Disney Dream have a split bathroom in them. This is the main bathroom, or at least the toilet area, I should say has a mirror, sink, and a toilet. Second half of the bathroom is split here with the wall. There's an extremely small tub. Now, no one should ever be confused as to thinking this is a tub capable of anybody being able to lay in fully if they're an adult. Here's my leg. This is an example, 5 foot 11. So this is not a massive tub. Um, you can kind of squat in it if you were an adult, but you can't do much more than that. Here's the mirror. Here's a magnifying glass sort of area. Sometimes we have our toothbrushes out because that's how we do things. Because this room is supposed to be able to hold five people, there's a lot of storage space and it's 200 and some odd square feet. This is the first closet. So you have a couple shirts up that I haven't put away some dirty laundry down there in the safe and we have some safety equipment second closet more of the same my wife has this one and here you have a number of shelves to use um, there's some pull drawers and things of that nature which my wife has used over here it's a connecting door to the next room which is Six nine six six six. Over yonder, we have the bed, which is quite a nice bed. We have our luggage tags to be put on our bags for tomorrow. You have a alarm clock, which we don't like. It has an iPod docking station on it, which is pretty swift if you have a iPod, but we don't. It has a blue light that we do not enjoy, so we don't use it. We unplugged it. There's also small shelves there as well. Uh, the one on my side has a Bible. One note of caution, while this is a queen size bed, um, you may find it a bit on the short side, at least we do, for whatever reason, maybe because of the pillows pushing out a bit. Um, one of the fun features of this, you can see on the lampshade it has the different castles for the Disney parks that currently exist. So that's kind of interesting. The art in here is all Disney, Disney, Disney. Here's the Disney Dream pulling into port in some mythical land where everyone wears white hats. A flat screen television, which has some interactive capability, which we quite like. Um, it swivels out, which is cool. Mini bar is down here. It does not come stocked. You have to call to get it stocked. As of right now, we have a chocolate milk inside of it. Just one. Chair, desk, mirror, uh, some plugs. I guess people complain that the plugs are kind of minimal in nature. Uh, we don't really notice it. We don't have a whole ton of stuff to plug in. There are these handy dandy wave phone things that we have never used. So we have no purpose to use them. Um, more cabinetry space. Cabinets I'm using. So there's a lot of storage space. Even the table flips up and look, it's actually storage. How about that? Couch, of course, can flip out into a bed and hold two people. Some more art on the wall back here that you can see. Various postage stamps from an assortment of countries. Most of these are actually somewhat reasonable nations and not ones that, as best I can tell, require doing that to uh, make cash. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a philatelist. And up here is a pull-out bed, or a Murphy bed or something, whatever they call it. This room can accommodate five. Balcony's pretty good. I like the fact that you can slide the door and the handle will allow it to lock in pretty much any position you put the door in. I always like sliding doors. And here's the balcony. There's Meredith with her Pirates of the Caribbean headscarfish thing. Pirates in the Caribbean. <laughs> Which is kind of where we are or something. Has an ashtray for smoking delights. Decent sized balcony, a couple of very basic chairs that don't recline, little table, and here's a view of Castaway Key. 
which is quite nice. Probably the best one we've been on. And uh, one thing you might want to notice again, I, I mentioned earlier the white wall, which covers up half of the balcony area. This is all it is. So quite honestly, we haven't even noticed it. It's been a complete non-factor in our decision to get this room. And uh, it's much cheaper to get it than a full glass balcony, which kind of irrelevant to us. Around the corner, big guys. We don't know who they are. Not a clue. So I probably shouldn't poke it at them. Yeah, there you go. Um, you got there. You can see the various buildings here. Um, there's some sort of big towerish thing. It's probably a lighthouse. And somewhere out there is the observation tower, which I don't know what value it has if it's even cool. But yeah, giant snorkeling area. Lots of fun to be had in this wonderful land that is Castaway Key. And that is the Disney Dream Room 9668. Don't get shame.